What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as Solana here. And for good measure, as you can see, XRP is currently filling in its beautiful daily symmetrical triangle that we have here. And it's not that much longer where we're going to have to make a decision. And hopefully it's one that eventually benefits us as it does break to the upside here. What we are looking for is a confirmation closure above daily charts and a reversal rally to the upside here, which is almost upon us. We'll also be looking at things like Ethereum, which has had a much bigger, a much greater symmetrical or descending fractal forming here. And we're slowly filling in this gap. And we're also going to need to make a decision, hopefully one that benefits us by breaking upwards here. And that same thing is with Bitcoin too, as Bitcoin has a massive bull flag formation here. We're almost about to confirm it as we are currently retesting major resistance as I speak on, uh, on Bitcoin here. The S&P is starting off by hitting all time highs as of today. Absolutely incredible. We're actually pushing through. I wanted to wait for today's markets to open up. And as you can see, we're already starting to veer higher, higher than we have ever been before. So that is absolutely nuts. But we are yet again back to becoming near overbought. And that would also trigger potential correction to the downside. I don't know just yet. We'll also be looking at things like Solana, which is just starting to break out of its four hour bull flag here, which is very exciting. If we confirm closure above here in the next two hours, I'm going to put a trade on a fair desk here and show you guys the possibilities of expecting to see markets correct to the upside, at least up to a price resistance of maybe 165 to 168 here, obviously doing so on fair desk. And for those that don't know what fair desk is, fair desk is a website where you can actually uh, trade around with cryptocurrency and copy my trades, which is also super cool. It is another exchange. I'm going to pull it up here on the copy trade right here. And then you go over to uh, my copy trades and you'll be able to follow me. You can see right here, crypto TV. You can copy my trades when I do decide to post them. And that might be as early as today in the next couple of hours here. Uh, Fairdesk is also giving away uh, a new bonus for those that do want to just use it as an exchange here. $100, 2065 and a 100K futures bonus, which is super cool. Basically, it is free trading money that you can literally use to trade and then whatever profits you get to keep. Super cool, super easy. You can also deposit in, get that, but you got to trade around. You see there are certain requirements here, but once you you know, complete this and get those futures bonus in free cryptocurrency, you can withdraw your money and do whatever the heck you want with it. So it is very cool. Definitely something to consider here. But uh, with that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump right into today's video. So guys, as you can see, XRP is starting to complete its symmetrical triangle here. This is something that we've taken quite a long time to track down and finally figure out where bottom support is as well as resistance. Now, again, I'm not 100% certain whether or not this is a mere price ceiling. We don't know if this is accurate just yet because there are only two confirmations on XRP's price ceiling here. However, what we have confirmed is our bottom supports and more than likely there is a good chance that we are going to rebound and potentially head even higher up because we have one to three points of confirmation, three points of support, and you can already see the reversal candle starting to take place. We've actually had like quite a few days of just trading sideways here. You can see kind of right along this area here, and we're more so looking for reversal to the upside here, probably to retest moving average. But nonetheless, we are starting our ascent to the upside, and there's a good chance what we're looking for here is a breach, and we'll start to rally off. Now, I'm not going to trade on XRP just yet. I try to make my trades as conservative as possible for most people to just minimize the amount of risk that goes into this here. However, the problem is uh, it takes a while. We have to be patient. So far, as you guys know, markets have been extremely stagnant. And if you watched yesterday's video when we were talking about the fact that rebounds are due for the market, we've already you know paid our dues of this correction. And there's a good chance now that we're just waiting for more consolidation to take place. And eventually, we should be rebounding up to moving average right around this area here. So that's truly what we're looking for. And it's only a matter of time before we actually get there. So just be patient. Once we get that confirmation, of closure above this resistance, I very likely expect to see a rally, uh, but we have to play it careful because if we start to hang out sideways, there's a good chance we may have to adjust our, uh, you know, downtrend to incorporate that. But with that being said, it's not just XRP, XRP we can focus on. There are other clear, uh, clear cut cryptocurrencies that we can trade. Um, Solana being one of those right here with Solana, we have a beautiful four hour descending fractal that we found here, a beautiful bull flag nonetheless. And as we fill in this gap 
and create these lower highs and these lower lows, you can see we are now just starting to breach through this major downtrend. I'm worried that we could flick back down and we could wick all the way back down to support here. It's very possible that in the next two hours, we could see prices uh, confirm closure below here. So I want to wait conservatively to see where this decides to pan out. This is so far really, really, really good. And if this continues, we might be able to grasp a couple other candles of uh, bullish momentum here. Not what I wanted to do. Let's pull up Solana again, SOL to US dollar here on Coinbase. And you can see, I do expect to see a stronger kind of a trend to the upside potentially following afterwards here. Again, this is a four hour. You can already see we're wicking back down. Uh, if we manage to close outside of this downtrend though, that's when I'll put in that fair desk trade with the anticipation of us continuing to scale higher up. Now, if we jump to the daily charts here, and like I said, we got two hours before we make that decision. But if you can see on the daily charts, you can see why this Looks so promising here, and that's because we are rebounding off moving average. This is a moving average that we've been floating at 50 on the RSI. So there is a ton of overhead and overlap of us potentially heading even higher up here. Most likely going to reject off resistance here, consolidate down, but we could even pump through that and head even higher up. Both of those are very viable possible situations here. But playing it conservative, I put my stop loss right here just in case we decide to dip back down. We'll just continue to scale that stop loss up and up and up, and then. So and so and you know higher and higher and then if we do reject we'll at least be able to get uh, stopped out and lock in some profits here but I do expect to see these prices continue to scale higher so get ready it all depends on confirmation closure on the four hour because this candle can continue to skew higher and it's all based on whether or not we close this four hour candle um, you know we got two hours left right around where we are if not at least above this yellow downtrend here and moving forward from Solana which again we will do on fair desk here but moving forward from there. And you can also get all my trades on Patreon. Remember that, uh, you know, before they even hit Fairdesk here. Fairdesk is afterwards, but the trades that we're going to make beforehand always go on Patreon too. So moving forward from that and checking out Ethereum here and Bitcoin, these are the cryptos that we are patiently waiting for. We're getting very close on Bitcoin. Ethereum, we're getting closer. We're not there just yet, but you can see the beautiful uptrend here, followed by a descending fractal forming here, lower high, lower lows. As we fill in this gap, it will be decision time soon. The goal is we wait above resistance to buy in and long to the upside here. And it's only going to happen once we can confirm breach. Probably now I'm going to even scale it up to this price ceiling here. We need a break through 3,100 where this moving average is for us to expect to see any sort of reversal rally to the upside here because there's lots of price ceilings and resistances and downwards pressures that are pushing on Ethereum when we start to approach that here. But you can see the size of of this moving average screams that we are most likely going to continue to scale higher. It's only a matter of time, especially since of how un undervalued the current price is on a lot of these cryptocurrencies. That same exact thing can be said with Bitcoin too. Bitcoin also is in a downtrend here. I've been trying to incorporate this as best as I can, and it's still just a bit too hard. Like it doesn't look right like this. It is a possibility, but it just doesn't look right. This looks more accurate here, and you can see us trending above here, but I would wait for Bitcoin to close daily above here for us to then buy into the upside here because there's a good chance that this maybe could be skewed a little bit higher and we're going to see a bit of uh, turbulence before we break through it here. So my focus would mainly be on Solana as a number one priority and then Ethereum here afterwards and also XRP. So it's mainly these three. The one I'd put on the back burner is Bitcoin for the time being, even though it's starting to trend outside of that resistance that we drew. These cryptocurrencies are going to be the main focal point here. Now, moving forward from that, looking at the S&P, which is currently scaling higher, we opened really well today. But again, keep in mind, we're now approaching overbought. And what that means is we're going to have to make a decision. I don't think we're in the headspace right now. Uh, you can see last time we were overbought, uh, or last time we hit all-time highs, we were at the exact same price we are now, and then we were followed by a dip. I am almost hoping for a dip. I think that this is what's necessary for us to take place here. We'll see if it actually happens because I am expecting lower movements here. Uh, and it would be beautiful if we saw a double top. I know that's pessimistic here, but I'd like to see some correction because it's time that we put more money in. Or right, I'd like to put more money in and I don't want to do it when we're overbought. I'd rather do it when we're oversold. And, it, and it's been a while since that's happened here. You could see how far away we are from the moving average. I'd like us to get down to at least least the yellow, if not the the white would be great here. But you can see there's a chance that this is going to form a double top and we could easily pull down a yellow, if not even lower. And again, that would look like this on the daily here, right down to that yellow moving average or right down to that yellow price floor is where I would hope to see prices move to because otherwise 
We just don't look good. We don't have the room to keep heading higher. And that's what's crazy. That's what's really crazy. But with that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.